and I didn't know which arm to put in because obviously like getting kind of a mystery tattoo in a glory hole is terrifying. I don't really uh, think I put too much meaning to the tattoos I have on my body. I just saw a piece of art that I liked and I thought, oh, why not just put it on my body? I think I've loosened up a little bit with tattoos now <laughs> where I'm like, all right, I'll get one with you in solidarity. Like that can mean something. If my brothers wanted to get a matching tattoo, I don't need other reason than that, you know? It's fun to like have some friends or people that you know where it's like, oh, yeah, if you're around, would you want to go get tattoos or something? Um, actually, down the street, I saw a little poster that said Scott Campbell is doing, you know, this famous tattoo artist. He's doing this art experience. This sort of centerpiece attraction of this gallery show was this hole in a kind of fence. And it, everybody that goes to the show, you pick, you get a raffle ticket. There was a line around the block, so I, did, I didn't expect to get picked. Um, but I got picked right when I got in. I decided that day at work and then I walked across the street to the tattoo shop. It was an autograph of George Harrison and the symbol was on that photo. He's like, oh, whose autograph is this? And I said, George Harrison. He goes, oh, that's my favorite Beatle. Like, I did no research on the tattoo artist. I just ended up with this guy that was here and he ended up, you know, telling me all of his stories about the Beatles. We grew up in the same area. It was cool. So I got my wife's um, name tattooed on my arm. For me, I knew being with her would be forever. And um, you can always change it, I mean, you yeah. <laughs> know. But, uh, no, but I think over time she realizes how much I love her, and I don't think I need the tattoo to prove it. And I think she was wise enough to realize it then, and I was impulsive to not. <laughs> There's no doubt getting a tattoo at your apartment when you're like 20 by someone who is not fully experienced Partial, partially that is uh, peer pressure. And I remember always showing my friends, I'm like, hey, look at this really sick tattoo I just got on my knee. And you can kind of always tell, they're like, oh yeah, dude, that's so cool, man. Yeah, I wouldn't really, like, eh. Then I knew I had to get it redone, so I paid like a real amount of money to get it professionally done by this guy named Will Kaufman. You just sort of put your arm in, and then over the course of the next hour and a half, I felt a tattoo being drawn on me. And then uh, I pulled it out and in front of a bunch of onlookers, I unwrapped and saw the tattoo that I got for the first time. I mean, at first I was like, wow, it's a skull and a rose. <laughs> that's pretty, that's about as tattoo as the tattoo gets, but it's kind of gorgeous. This one is actually a Jonathan Polipchuk piece. He's a Canadian modern artist. So I told him, it's my 30th birthday, would you draw something that is me? Like what you think, what, what what I am or what we are. But he didn't like break it down and say the pot means this and that because it's modern art. It's what you're gonna draw from it. Sometimes I look at I look at my tattoos as just art, but then there's times where after the fact I'll be like, Well, I was going through something then, like this definitely has meaning. I don't know what made me get believe, especially on my face, but like believe I believe in God. I have like a strong sense of faith. When I'm out in public or if I'm wherever I'm at, I'll see someone looking at it and someone will tell me a story about how they believed in themselves 30 years ago and started their own business. I don't even know if this is true, but some very spiritual person was telling me that the word hallelujah means praise the mystery. And that's always been kind of a mantra of mine. So it just felt like this embodiment of an idea that I really sort of have lived my life through. Of like, you know, whatever this is, it's both like big and small because, you know, we're all kind of insignificant, so who cares if you get a tattoo you don't like? <laughs> so hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Oscar, creator of Under the Skin. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when uh, there's new episodes coming. We got some really fun ones coming out I'm working on right now that I think you guys are gonna enjoy. There's some really cool tattoos, uh, all new people, really cool stories. This week's question is, has the meaning of any of your tattoos changed uh, over time since you got them? Let us know in the comments below.